I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. Today is June the 14th and it's time for another shop update. This last week I had two videos coming out. Um, number one, how to sharpen a card scraper. And I, so I looked at you know, the, the basic, how do you sharpen a rectangular smooth card scraper, but also how do you sharpen a curved card scraper? And uh, I was very pleased with some of the comments I've gotten on this. Uh, apparently this is something that a lot of people wanted to know about. How do you sharpen a curved, cards, curved card scraper? Next up, I showed how to sharpen a dovetail saw. Um, small teeth, how do you actually get them sharp? It's a fairly simple process, and it takes a little bit of practice, but uh, just about anyone can do it. So if you want to see that, I left a link for that. The big thing from this last week was going out to the Midwest Tool Collectors Association meeting. Uh, this is a national meeting that happens um, two times a year, and they have them in two different places, so usually you can get one uh, that's fairly close to you. The next one will be down in Tennessee in October, I think the 8th. So I'm really looking forward to going to that one and uh, meeting a few more people. This week was just absolutely awesome there. Uh, I got to meet a lot of uh, cool people and uh, make a few contacts. It was always interesting to, uh, to meet some of the viewers and uh, what you guys think and actually get to know you. It was a, a great opportunity. But a little bit about the Midwest Tool Collectors Association. It is basically a place where um, hand tools are brought that you can purchase. Um, or you can sell them and you can see all sorts of really amazing tools that you don't normally get to see. Um, and if you're looking for that one little tool, that one thing to finish a job, you'll find it there. And it is an amazing source uh, for finding tools. Um, and so I purchased a good bit. I didn't purchase a whole lot because I didn't have that much money to go there with. Uh, but some of the things I got was uh, number one in ads. Um, and if you haven't seen this, I'm probably gonna be doing a video on that sometime. A really fun tool when you're uh, wanting to bring down logs to lumber. Um, had a new friend of mine said, hey, I've got something I want to give you, and he brought this out. It is a flat blade screwdriver, 38 inches long. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, I love this thing, so thank you. I also got a folding rule, a fairly cheap one, but I've been wanting to have one in my shop. Um, I have another one that is busted and not really doing well, and I thought this would just be a good one. It's not a a really great one, but it works well, so you'll probably see that in a few videos. I got this tiny little hammerhead, and I am looking forward to making a handle for this. I'm probably going to make that this week. Um, I want to do a video on that, and this is just a, a great little hammer uh, that I'm going to be using for adjusting some of my uh, wooden hand planes. A fine little chisel, and I've been wanting one that's really thin. This is actually one-tenth of an inch thick, uh, so you can get into small spaces. I've been needing a screwdriver for doing uh, saw plate nuts. Sometimes those slots are a little bit thinner than uh, some of the screwdrivers I have. And this is a great one that it was able to fit down into the nut and give me a bit of torque on it. So I really like that. I saw this and had to purchase it for a friend of mine. He collects um, oil cans and uh, sometimes you just see little fun things you have to purchase. I also got a tap and die for one inch. Um, I'm wanting to do a video soon on making clamps um, and how do you actually make these for yourself. And so this is basically the main tool that's needed and I've been thinking about getting one for a while. Saw one there at a great price and uh, well, couldn't pass it up. So we're gonna have some fun with that. The video I did a little while ago for Mother's Day uh, was a bird feeder with my kids and I had them in the shop. It was a lot of fun, a great time all around. Uh, but that was also an entry for Shane's Hobby Shop and uh, Know What Mom Knows uh, in a, a competition that they had for Mother's Day. And I won second place, so that was kind of fun. Um, and uh, just got some things in the mail. So uh, this is the prize for it. And the, the things that just kept coming were amazing. <laughs> and I open up the box and there's more and more things. Uh, just a great prize and uh, I'm having fun putting this together. I've never used a fast cap tape measure before, so um, thank you. I'm looking forward to playing with that. And uh, long nose marker, uh, glue bot, a uh, clip with pencil sharpener, spring clamps, and uh, then uh, shop brushes for glue. So thank you so much Shane and uh, know what mom knows and uh, this is an awesome gift. On the hand tool build off front, um, just got this in the mail today. This is from uh, Tip70. Made this really sweet marking knife with cover and uh, lever, uh, leather loop. 
Um, just absolutely gorgeous. This is really, really beautiful. So that'll be one of the uh, the things going out. Also, the Woodworking Junkie made a marking gauge, and uh, wow, that was really kind of cool. So um, now there is a prize for Canada, so we will have a uh, Just for Canada prize, um, as well as uh, Barry Cox made a mallet that is absolutely gorgeous, has uh, several lines of, of colored veneer inlaid into it, really well done. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing who gets those. And in case you were wondering, there still is time. The deadline is July 1st. Um, so get in contact with me if you have any questions and uh, looking forward to seeing what you come up with. I want to say a huge thank you to the couple of you who have uh, offered to help out with the, the shipping costs. Um, the uh, GoFundMe account, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I was amazed that uh, uh, several of you have, uh, stepped up and wanted to help with that, and I say a huge thank you. Um, looking forward to sending out a lot of tools to the, uh, the people who want to play around with hand tools and uh, learn the trade. So thank you so much. So that's about it for this week. I've had a lot of fun things going on and uh, going to be packing in uh, several good videos coming up. Um, the Midwest Tool Collectors Association, um, making the mallet hammer for that, uh, making some hand clamps and uh, playing around with that. Just a lot of cool ideas. I'd love to hear if you have anything you want me to do. Um, if there's some particular task you want to learn about, please let me know and I'll put a video up. So that's about it. I hope you like this. If you did, please hit like and think about subscribing. Feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.